Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Jennifer Gross Show here live from Houston, Texas. Coach Gross, glad to meet with you this afternoon. How are you doing? Doing great. Thanks so much. Yeah, we're really excited to be here for KDBS and, of course, women's basketball coming off of their great overtime win last night against Navy, your first overtime game and, of course, win as head coach. Their exciting play definitely made my job easy. Um, they won 66-63. How are you feeling so far? Oh, you know, I was really, really proud of our team last night, and not so much for the win, just for how hard we competed. And, you know, we got down in the second half and, and never gave up, never gave in, just, to, you know, continue to stay positive on the bench and really encouraging with each other. And we had a number of different players that stepped up and made really clutch plays, uh, both in regulation and in overtime. So um, it was fun just to see see our players getting more comfortable in their roles and to see them figure out a way to win. It was uh, It was fun. Now, the story of the night was the timely re-entry of Courtney French. 23 points, a career high for her. And, and I was just saying to you a moment ago, when, when I interviewed her after the game, she had no idea she had that many points. You know, it, just, it seemed like she was just in the zone the entire game. How good is it to have her back? More specifically, though, not just in her points, but having a veteran leadership leader. Yeah, it's, it's been wonderful to have her back. Obviously, uh, it's not so much the... Product, you know, obviously we, we, she's very productive offensively, but she, her energy is tremendous. I mean, she's she's our vocal leader, leader on the floor. Anybody that watches us play will tell you that. Um, she's just the heart of our team right now. She's uh, she and Blair Shinoda, our two seniors and captains, just bring so much uh, confidence, energy, experience to the table. And having one of them gone makes a big difference. So. Uh, it was really, really fun to have her back. I was so happy for her that she she did so nicely in her debut. And uh, obviously, she's capable of hitting big shots. But uh, you know, the, the biggest one probably came at the end of regulation to tie the game. And uh, it was I was really happy for her and for the team. Yeah, the team looked excited. I know I lost my mind on the radio. I had a, a great look at it, sitting right behind her. Now, last night. Everybody who suited up had minutes, so the entire depth of the bench was used, including all five freshmen on the roster. How does their game on the court at this point in the season compare to even just a few weeks ago against Pepperdine? You know, we're making strides every single day, and uh, we knew that about this group. You know, we have a lot of talent on the team. Uh, we just have to get some experience and get confidence and get used to playing together. And so, um, you know, uh, it's... We, we had a really nice break. We had a week off without games after the second game, and we really utilized that to just uh, to improve. And so I'm, I think we're a different team than we were a week ago. Uh, my hope is that we'll be a different team a week from now and that we'll continue to just get better and better as the season goes along. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited every game because I have no idea who's going to step up and, and, uh, and do something great. And, you know, I thought Anaya Baker was, was phenomenal last night. She stepped in and played some tremendous defense. Celia Marfone uh, was clutch for us, had a couple key baskets. Um, and, you know, all of our freshmen have been really, uh, really steady. And our veterans as well are figuring out their roles and, and everybody's learning how to contribute. Now, you got to mention Blair Shinoda. You know, we, we got to talk about Courtney French plenty. Now, her role this season, it's, you know, she seems to be running the offense most of the time. She's leading the team in minutes. Now, how has her impact, you know, Specifically, she had some clutch free throws down the stretch in overtime. Can you elaborate more on her impact on the team this season? Yeah, her impact isn't necessarily showing up in the statistics. Um, you know, she's really capable of scoring, and uh, she'll do that for us uh, on any given night. But more importantly, she's kind of our steadying confidence out there. You know, she has is definitely the player that has the most experience on the on the roster. Um, you know, and she just settles us. She has a really good uh, feel for the tempo and the pace of the game, and she can play the one through the five for us. You know, we could put her in any spot, and, you know, although Courtney was the one that hit the shot uh, that sent it into overtime, Blair was able to get the floor organized, get people in spots, and get us into the set that we wanted to run in order to execute that. So it's never just one person. Um, Blair's contributions obviously are huge, and... Uh, and, you know, we, we would not have uh, won the game last night without her. So you have the win against Navy, trying to get another one against Houston Baptist University. They're hosting. They've been great hosts, but, of course, we want to win. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you. I appreciate it, Craig. We'll be back with more pregame after this.